hello friends today our topic of discussion is brick now what is brick brick is nothing but a hard block generally made by burning of clay these are obtained by molding of clay in rectangular blocks and then by drying and burning it is mainly used as a building material traditionally brick referred a unit composed of clay but nowadays these can be made with clay and sand clay and lime and concrete composition of good brick earth let us know the composition of good earth for production of brick number 1 silica a good brick earth should contain 50 to 60% of silica it prevents shrinkage cracking and wrapping and thus to impart uniform shape number 2 alumina 20 to 30% it imparts plasticity so that it can be molded number 3 lime 4 to 5% it resists shrinkage of raw brick excess lime causes the brick to melt number 4 iron oxide 5 to 8% it helps a sand to fuse it gives a red color to the bricks less in quantity imparts yellowish color to the bricks number 5 magnesia of about 1% it decreases shrinkage and gives yellow tint to bricks excess causes decay of bricks manufacturing of bricks Manufacturing of bricks involves four stages which are preparation of clay molding of clay drying of bricks and burning of bricks preparation of clay the top layer of soil of about 200 mm thick is thrown away and rejected because top soil is full of impurities then the soil is exposed to atmosphere for weathering and softening for some time then the clay is made loose and ingredient if any is added with the clay this process is known as blending after blending water is added and the whole mass is kneaded under kettle or man feet and for large scale manufacturing this is done in a pug mill molding of bricks we can mold bricks by hand or by machine in case of hand molding timber or steel made mold is used by manual labor here molds are made 8 to 12% larger in all directions to meet up the shrinkage during drying and burning in case of machine molding bricks are molded with the help of machine machine molding is used for large scale manufacturing drying of bricks bricks are laid longitudinally in stacks of width equal to 2 bricks the bricks are dried till they attain a moisture content of about 2% normally it takes 3 to 10 days in case of artificial drying hot channels or tunnels are used temperature 120 degree centigrade and it takes about 1 to 3 days for drying burning of bricks proper temperature should maintain during burning to get a strong and dense brick and which is 650 degree centigrade to 1100 degree centigrade camp burning is used for small scale manufacturing here bricks are kept in a trapezoidal plane with a slope of about 15 degree with the ground cow dung husk wood or coal etc are used as fuel bricks are laid in layers and fuel is filled in between the layers four to five layers of bricks are laid in one batch kins are used for large scale manufacturing different types of kins are there 
depending upon the volume of bricks. Size of bricks. Traditional brick. Actual size is 248 mm by 121 mm by 71 mm. And with 6 mm thick mortar, the size will be 254 mm by 127 mm by 77 mm. In case of modular brick, actual size is 190 mm by 90 mm by 90 mm and with 10 mm thick mortar the size will be 200 mm by 100 mm by 100 mm deviation limits of modular brick length is equals to plus minus 6 mm breadth is equals to plus minus 4 mm and height is equals to plus minus 3 mm Weight of brick. Traditional brick is equals to 3.5 kg and modular brick is equals to 3.2 kg. Compressive strength of bricks in MPA. First class brick is 105. Second class brick is 70. Third class brick is 35. And for overburnt or jhama brick, it is less than 35. Water absorption of bricks. For first class brick, it is 20% in 24 hours of immersion at 27 degrees centigrade. And for second class brick, it is 22%. For third class brick, it is 25%. And for overburnt or jama bricks, it is 5%. Quality of good bricks. Bricks should be uniform in shape and size. It should give a clear metallic sound when struck with each other. It should appear bright and homogeneous and free from voids. It should be well burned with sharp edges. No impression left when scratched with fingernail. It should not break when fall from a height of about 1 meter. Crushing strength should not be less than 5.5 Newton per square millimeter and it should not show any efflorescence after 24 hours of immersion. Types and uses of bricks. As all of we know there are four types of bricks. Number one first class, number two second class, number three third class and number four overburnt or jama bricks. First class bricks are used for load bearing wall. Second class bricks are used for boundary wall, shuki, etc. Third class bricks are used for boundary wall and temporary structures. Overburnt or jama bricks are used for road metal, soling courses, coarse aggregate in concrete, etc. Efflorescence. What is efflorescence? It is appearance of alkaline substances that is crystalline salty deposit on the surface of bricks after soaking in water of depth 25 mm on placing the brick on a standard and specified dish. It is caused when soluble salts and other water dispersible objects come to the surface of brick. Types of efflorescence Slight when affected area is 10%, moderate when affected area is up to 50%, and heavy when affected area is more than 50%. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.